Hello everyone and welcome to the online legal writing course. I am thrilled that you are here and, lo and looking forward to working with you over the next four weeks on this course and on your legal writing and on your legal English in general. So this is an introductory video to the course just to give you a general orientation of how it is organized so you know what to expect as we move through each of the modules. First, this is, of course, the homepage that you will arrive to when you go to the website legalwritingonline.org. So you will see here just a minimum amount of information to kind of get you started on the course before we dive into the actual substance of um, each of the units or the modules. So on this page, before you actually get started on the first module that we'll be doing in week one, what I would like you to do is take a survey. So you will find here a link to a survey that will take you, um, or that where you will complete some basic information about you, your study of English, your use of English for the course, and just to, some general questions so I can know a little bit more about you, what you hope to learn from this course, and why you use English um, for your profession as well. So be sure to do that before you watch the introductory video, which obviously you're watching now if you're listening to me, and again before you get into the module. So as you will see, and the, the course is divided into four modules. Each one will last one week of the course. So the module will begin on uh, Monday and will conclude the following Sunday. So the module, the next module, we will begin on Monday of the next week. So each module has a theme. You see module one is introduction to U.S. legal writing. Module two is IRAC and the organization of legal writing in the States. Module three is business correspondence. And module four is contract drafting and plain legal English. Each of the modules is organized in a very similar way. So once you get used to the organization of the course and the activities and exercises that we do in module one, you will know what to expect in the remaining modules, which will make life a little bit easier. You'll find here um, a page with the syllabus and all of the course information. And this includes also not only the course objectives, the technology that you need, and the readings that you will be doing, but also an overview of each of the modules with all of the exercises that we will be doing in each of the modules. You'll find this information on this page of the syllabus and course information, and also on each of the pages um, dedicated to one of the four modules. And we also have a couple of other tools that I will explain to you that we will be using, one called Flipgrid, uh, discussion forums, and then there's a page of resources that we'll look at briefly. So let's look at the first module so you have an idea of how, again, of how the course is organized. So on each of the pages, you will find first um, overview of the module that will tell you all of the activities and exercises that you will that you are expected to do. You will find for each one an over video, overview video like this one that will be just a general introduction to that specific module. And then you'll find all of the exercises with detailed instructions as well as videos. There's a podcast here that we'll be watching, discussion forum, and then each of the modules has one or two writing activities that you will be doing as well. So oh, everything you need is on each of the pages of the module, as well as links to any exercises like the videos that are outside of the web website. If there are other materials that aren't on the website, such as some law review articles that we will be reading, I will send those to you. So one of the activities that we will be doing is called Flipgrid. Oops. So Flipgrid is a video discussion tool or app. And you have to click to this page here and log in and you will be given, I will put your address, your email address 
into the account, so you should be able to log in automatically to Flipgrid. So by using this video discussion tool of Flipgrid, we will be able to post video responses and reflections to some of the questions and some of the topics and issues that we will be discussing during the course. So this is a good way to not only get to know your classmates more, but also for you to practice your spoken English. That is as important as your written English. So even though this is a course of online legal writing, we also want to, of course, focus and um, work on our spoken English as well. And you will find under this tab of resources also some video tutorials that will explain to you a bit better some of the tools such as Flipgrid that we will be using in the course. So I encourage you to look over this website and in particular watch these short videos as well. One of the other online tools that we will be using is a discussion forum. So in an online class, obviously we can't have the same in-person discussions that we do in, um, in, a, in an in-person class. And that's one of the best parts, I think, most people would say about being in a class, especially a small class like ours is, is that you can talk with people, you have discussions, you can reflect and respond to each other's and interact about the different topics and issues that you're studying. We can't do that in, a, in an online class since we're all in different places and we're not necessarily on the website at the same time, but we can use discussion forums to replicate that in-class discussion. So for the, in, in each of the modules, you will find that there is a discussion forum exercise. So you're given questions that you have to respond to and you will be doing those responses and also responses to your classmates postings and their um, answers in this discussion forum. And so this is what it, it looks like and where you will be posting your responses. Like for the Flipgrid, you will also find a video tutorial on the resource page of how to use the discussion forums. So again, everything is included here, explained to you within the website. So that's kind of a very general overview, kind of giving you an idea of what you can expect for each of the modules as we move through it. So as we're starting module one, I encourage you to go to the page to read through it all. Make sure you click on all the links and do all the exercises and the activities. And if you have any questions as you're working through it, please reach out, send me an email, and I will do my best to answer. And until then, I look forward to working with you, to getting to know you, to correcting your writing exercises, and to helping you improve your writing and your legal writing and your legal English. And again, I'm thrilled to be working with you and thrilled to have you in the class.